that now that you got it first, that now everything is all about you. Then we can miss out on what God has for us when he reveals things, but we won't move on the information. How many of us are sitting on the scriptures? Amen. But won't take heed to it, won't act on it. But we can quote it. But really we won't submit ourselves to it and get involved with it. But, but as soon as somebody say one word, we can finish the whole chapter for it. Amen. Why is your slap jack up? Did all the guys. With no wisdom to apply to our lives. Okay, be good, Pastor. We're going to eat. And we're going to show up. Let me move on. Now, the scripture says, that's my little introduction, y'all. See, that, that, I think they did that with that chicken, that sweet things up. It didn't slip like that. Now, when Jesus was born in Bethlehem, Judea, now, the scriptures told them where Jesus would be born. He would be born in the house of bread, also known as, when you break it down in its original context, the house of dust. In, in the province of Judea, which meant praise. Because David was from Bethlehem. And so the kingly line sprang from Bethlehem. We know the first king who saw it, all right, was what the folks want. And you know, God will give you what you want. And then you might not like what you get. I ain't going to mess with y'all today politically, but y'all know what I'm talking about. You get what you want. Amen. And then now you don't like what you have. Amen. Amen. Give all your money away to somebody else. Ain't even in the boys. But that's what y'all want. But anyway, y'all didn't like that either. Y'all didn't like that either. Amen. Amen. Now, in the days of Herod, now this Herod, the king, was a shrewd rascal, y'all. Oh, he, he, he was something serious. The scriptures tell us in the book of Genesis, chapter 49, around verse 10, that the scripture of the ruling state would not depart from Judah until Shiloh come, which was an epithet of the Messiah Christ. So the fact that King Herod was on the throne was really signifying if people read scriptures and studied it, that Jesus was on the way. Amen. Amen. That'll make you happy. Amen. There's somebody sitting in your seat. That you're supposed to be in. Amen. And your season is near. And the very fact that they sit there is your signal that God is about to make a delivery of restoration in your life. Amen. Let them keep it warm until God gives them manifestation. It can make y'all happy. Amen. Let me support sitting there where I'm going to be and I just smile every time I see them. Amen. I just tell them, keep it warm. Amen. Just like that chicken back there, that will be long. You will be digested. Amen. Amen. You might have such a boost of pain. Amen. Amen. So, so you all, uh, King Herod was an Idemian, meaning that he, he was a descendant, most likely, of Esau. But we know that the blessing was on Jacob. Amen. Sometimes God will allow Esau folks, those of the flesh, to hold it down until the fullness of time. Amen. And until that is a supernatural birth of the Spirit so that you will be able to rule by the Spirit. Yeah, yeah. And so, so Herod is on the throne and he is politically put there. And God will sovereignly let men do things. Yes. Uh, are y'all with me? Yeah. But it's like this. God said, you won't worship me. Yeah. I got somebody to replace you yeah. if you don't. Yeah. And they might not even be a believer in me. Yeah. But I will put them in place to remind you that I am God and God alone. Yeah. Hey, our country better wake up. I'll let somebody get up there who won't care nothing about me. Yeah. Don't love me. Don't serve Until y'all get back to worshiping me. 
get back to my word. Now, but since y'all still want to do whatever you want to do, I put somebody in power. Mm -hmm. This is a Christmas message, y'all. I'll put somebody in mind to confirm your reprobate mind. And you'll get so deep in sin and get so hard hearted that you don't even know that you've already been invaded. You don't already know that the enemy is already in here. Ain't no bomb drunk yet, but the enemy is already infiltrated. Yeah. The country is already bankrupt. Already. They ain't giving your money away. And you ain't even crying about it. What we all about? Yeah. Yeah. When, when too much thought broke going on, there's a few little pockets of rebellion about the hair of being in place. But you know, when folks are selling out for a paycheck, they'll keep you quiet. Right, let me move on. These wise men came from the East. How in the world can someone come from a foreign country seeking your king and you right in there and you ain't looking for it? How can they come right off hot corner off the block, Lord Jesus, and we up in here every week? They're looking for him, honey, thirsting after him as the deer panted for the water works. Oh, so my soul panted after thee, oh God. And you got the word first, and here they are looking for him. And you look at them like, what they want? They want what you don't appreciate. If you don't appreciate what God had, God got some folks who are hungry for him. And, and they will make you look ashamed because they'll come in here and worship all, praise all, seek after God. They will give, they will love while you watch your judgmental attitude. Because you and I have become indifferent about the God that has saved us and delivered us and healed us over again and provided for us. Every now and then, God will send someone to swap us. To make us jealous. Yeah. Uh, why? Why you gotta do all that? Because you're not passionate about him. Have you ever dated somebody and somebody came along who really paid you more attention? And all of a sudden you became a hater because you got comfortable? Y'all don't like that. But I have come down on y'all now. And all of a sudden that you want to pull it on for a day. Because you threaten. I'm going to say it again. You become threatened for a day. And then the person's like, why are you doing all this? You don't know they do this. They threaten. Amen, Pastor. You preach it again this week, y'all. Yeah. Amen. Pick up these wise men. These would be the maggots. These would be oriental scientists, possibly teachers, doctors, physicians, astrologers, sorcerers, soothsayers, who study different things. They study astrology, the stars, the positioning of the stars. And you know, God has a way of scattering seed so that he can get fruit from the seed. The fact that he even allowed the Jews to be scattered over the Middle East was because they would not obey the scriptures in obeying the Sabbath days to let the land, the land rest and even allow their bodies to rest. Sometimes God had to scatter us. Amen. And, and, and through the scattering, we think it's a bad thing, but God say, I'm going to get some fruit out of you one way or another. Amen. Amen. What you think is evil, God said, I'm going to bring some good out of it. Amen. From your rebellion, I'm going to get some seed out of it, and I'm going to turn the rebellion to worship. And what God has done when he allowed Daniel to become the 
person over the wise men in Babylon, you better believe that Daniel told them about the Messiah. Because when you read about the book of Daniel, that's when we hear about the Messiah coming. I'm not going to be over you when you're not here about my Jesus. God did not allow you to get that position just for you to get money and prestige and power. He put you there so that you can plant the good news of the gospel in somebody's heart and so that later on someone else will come and seek after him. We thought it was about the money and the benefits package. No, it's all about him. Yeah, yeah. So these wise men studying the stars because the Bible says that day unto day utter speech in the heavens declare the glory of the Lord. There is nowhere, no line where his voice is not heard. So even if you don't have a Bible, the first Bible was the Psalms. Y'all won't get me. God has the stars moving in conjunction in pictures aligned together to perfectly reveal the birth of his son. Are y'all ain't with me? So he has angels governing constellations in their movements to make sure that they perfectly reflect the gospel. All right, I was writing the Bible if you read it. And so these wise men said, we don't have a Bible, but we read Psalms. Amen. Now, don't get it perverted. Whenever the enemy takes information and perverts it to use it for demonic and satanic purposes, you need to check out the truth of it. Now, we're not supposed to look to the stars for, uh, okay, what is it going to be like for me this week? Am I going to get married? Is this the one, Lord? And you look at the stars. Oh, are y'all with me? I know y'all Aquarius, Pisces, and all the rest of them. You're looking in the newspaper to find out what it's going to be this week. Well, I should say online, I'm old school paper. And you think, just because they say that week, now I'm going to tell you something, because I'm going to be real with it. I'm not going to lie to you. There is some truth in that information based on the revelation of what God put in the in the second heavens. But what will happen is if that is not information that is revealed by the Holy Spirit, what will happen is you will start to listen to demonic voices. Amen. Our teacher is the Holy Spirit and God has given us scriptures so that we may stay grounded in foundation. Don't be calling Miss Cleo. God has prophets that you can go to, his men and women of God, that can give you revelatory information. Don't call no psychic. If I don't understand, y'all will give them money but won't pay tithes. You won't get tithes and offer but get a free old somebody. And she don't need you to help. The name of the Lord is worthy to be praised. Now, how can they go from where the sun rises and Jesus is called the day star? It's rising and it, it sets in the right place. So they come and think that they're going to find some worship and they find people who ain't need worship. Meaning that they miss the light. They miss the revelation. These men who are seeking and here they are, they show up. 
Now look at this. They had to be wise men who were associated with royalty because you couldn't get into the court of Herod unless you came from a people in position of authority in royalty. So they knew protocol of how to go before the king. Oh, do you know protocol of how to approach the king? Okay, maybe you don't. <laughs> if you were here for call to worship, Psalms 100 tells you the protocol to get into the court of the king. Into his courts with what? Protocol. I dare us to just walk in here. And, and you don't even know you walk in here nonchalantly and don't understand protocol. Spiritually, you already shut down. Angel said, ain't nothing happening to you. Ain't nothing coming your way. How in the world are you going to come to this course and not know how to respond? With thanksgiving and with praise. You know, there are people who are spiritually locked up for trespassing out of the wrong protocol, and you wonder, Pastor, why my life jacked up? Well, when you enter the court, what did you do? What court? I ain't been in no trouble. <laughs> the last time you were in the presence of the Lord, what did you do? What did we want to do? Oh, okay, so you, you are spiritually arrested and don't know that you got shackles on your feet. You don't know you got a hole in your bank account. You can put on the, all the dresses and perfume and have what you want. He ain't going to look your way. God got him blind. Because you don't know how to operate in the king's courts. And why should the king give you one of the heirs to the throne when you don't know how to treat the king? Are you okay? Don't kiss me anymore. Let me move on. Let me move on. That is bad. My wife caught me up on my knees uh, yesterday. Was it yesterday? She, she caught me on my knees. Because I know how to operate in the court of king. Okay, y'all don't know how to operate at home. That's your problem. You don't understand that your home is the court of the king. You think it's your home. You don't understand. It's his. It's his court. You don't know how to bow before the king. Okay, since it's yours, you pay the bill.
and you giving worship to someone who does not love our God. You giving praise to somebody who don't deserve it. You give it to somebody who's trying to kill you, but you can't see it. You give it to someone who wants to cause division amongst my people. Black against white and white against the same. In vain to be seen, so they won't tell you the truth. And then those who are telling you the truth get persecuted. He don't like them because they shine the light in the face. Amen. Amen. You know, you can be popular these days, even in pulpit, if you don't tell the truth. Amen. 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 You're not popular when you stand on the word of God. Amen. The word of God brings persecution. Persecution arises because of the word. And when they ain't built for it, when they are not born for it, they won't preach truth. They will preach out of convenience and for money and to keep you happy. God frowned. We just need to have a repentance service. Oh Lord, change our minds and our hearts and our direction. Yeah. They said, look here, we're singing this song to you. Meaning that, look here, we were studying. We, we went to heavenly, second heaven Bible study. Oh, y'all missed that key. We went to second heaven Bible study. What Bible study y'all go to? Y'all go to the University of Jerusalem at the temple for study. Why is it that y'all don't know you should be in worship? How is it that we can go to Second Heaven Bible study and we know he's born and y'all don't? Oh, Jesus. Uh, look at King, we come to worship you. We come to worship him. Look here, Pastor. We didn't come to worship you. We come to worship him. I'm going to say that again. We got too much of pastor worship. You don't worship the man of God. You worship God that sent the man of God. Yeah, I know y'all worship them because now you don't give up on God just for them.
what? You can't buy me. So if you think you can buy me, you think you can control me. And I'm going to control you no more. The Holy Spirit guides and leads me in all truth. So you take your little check and go buy somebody else. And then all y'all are going to be corrupt. And I'm going to pray for the I got to pray for the body of Christ anyway. Look, we come first. Now these wise men tell us, look, we're looking for the one born king so we can worship, but this is the Messiah. They probably like, what is wrong with these four? They, they got born king, but they ain't in no worship. They ain't having no kind of parades to celebrate the birth of the king. Now, they ain't not going, this is a dead church. Oh, I'm going to say that again, just in case y'all catch it. We don't came into a dead city, dead church that don't even understand worship. I'm going to say it one more time, just so y'all get it. We don't mess around here and came into a dead city, in a dead church that does not know how to worship a king that is broke down even though he is. Come on, Wouldn't it pass on down like that with that different play? <laughs> and we look at the stars and pop time and because because Daniel told us when he would come. Mm -hmm. that, that figure with the gold and the silver and then such and such. And at this time, a rock would be thrown. Oh Jesus, y'all don't read, y'all not bother reading. There ain't no time that the Israelites should know what they're not moving on. When Herod the king heard these things, he was troubled and all Jerusalem with him. When you wait, you got to be troubled when the real show up. So now he agitated and stirred because he knows his time short. If these jokes find out that I'm really not supposed to be in control. Man, you got to take my throne, my money, my power, and everything else. Amen. Amen. You can tell when somebody fake because they, they disturb. Then you mention the rightful person. Right. Amen. I'm, I'm say, that's right. I'm going to say that. I don't mind. I don't care what you say. I'm going to be cool. But when you fake, you got to put fear in folks. The intimidation time. And, 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 and you know when folks fake, they cut up just to keep control. I'm going to say it again. They cut up to keep control. When, when, when you are not legitimate, you rule by fear and not by love. Mm -hmm. That's why some pastors have to threaten you. They have to threaten you no longer than no way. You belong to the Lord. Amen. 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 Man, I ain't gonna be no religious with me. You see him coming to the house. <laughs> you can't love me when you're scared of me. Amen. I, mean, I just want you to look at me and say, oh, how do you think that? Let me see it, baby. I don't want you to, you know, like you have to pray before you put the key in the door. That's some foolishness.
you're in bondage. God does not want us in bondage. He wants us to be and accept his love. Yeah. Now, never get one man got a whole city troll. You know what ain't happy what gonna happen? You scared to go to church because the pastor won't go. You know what he ain't happy? You know what you don't like yet? You scared to go to work because the, the, you know what he did? He didn't get that report last week. You know what I hate to laugh? You know what I hate to laugh? Look back at my spread up there. You give me that responsibility and that, that's them. You need to talk to them. You need to frown on them. I ain't me. Okay, y'all. I'm back to somebody's job. Look, look. Look. When he had gathered, when he had gathered chief priests and scribes of the people together, he demanded of them what the price should be more fit. Civically, he is even controlling the spiritual. Government. The spiritual government is supposed to put the civic in check. That's why God had prophets back in the day. When the king acted up, the prophet could go into the court and say, You better get it straight, or God will jack you up. Where are prophetic voices that say, If you don't straighten up, God will put you to sleep? And then put a day to it, and then it come to pass. If you don't straighten up by this day, the most high God who rules over the land is going to put you to sleep. As a little kid, he's going to put you to sleep. They don't fear God because you are afraid to tell them that your God real and he works. Do you think you won't back up your word? I'm going to tell somebody, look here, if they don't straighten up, God is going to heal you. My picture is on mine. Yeah, I said, God, go ahead and go on fire. He said, I already told you you're fire. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm waiting to see if you're ready for your promotion. I'm going to say it again. Some of y'all ain't getting promoted because you're too scared. You're too attached to a paycheck. You rather bow down to a man than be obedient to God. And God said, you're not ready for what I got for you because that money is your God. The spirit of mammon has you. Y'all ain't good. So he, he gathered the folks that had the information that they were sitting on. Now look at this. They, they know where he should be born. And if they're studying and they're praying, they should know the time. They got information. But they just go on to the temple. They ain't engaged with God. They're not really engaged with God. They're comfortable with a position and a paycheck. When you really love God, you are frustrated when things are not right with you and your walk with God, the people of God, the assembly of God. It bothers you. If it doesn't bother you, something's wrong. Check the verse too. Are y'all with me? We went one month this year, only one month. There was only one month out of this year where we did not see a person receive the Lord Jesus Christ in here. I can't even be a fussy. Yeah, you're right, I did. Why? Because not seeing souls come to Christ bothers me. How in the world we go a whole month and nobody come to Jesus? I said, that's a problem. Everybody looked at me like, oh my God, what is wrong with me? I'm wondering what's wrong with us. So I start I start examining, I'm saying examine yourself to see whether you're being a man. I start looking at me first, and I start repenting, 
And then I said, now, now that I've got up before you, Lord, and, and you've shown me, now I'm going to be, look here, we got to repent. Any area that we're not walking with God, we got to get it right because there are souls being hindered from coming to Christ. Are y'all with me? If you're not pressing and doing that, something wrong with it. He doesn't have any passion for God. He doesn't have a passion for souls. I don't listen to nobody who don't have that kind of passion. See, when most of the children, they, they have a constant bad attitude. Wait a minute. Let's see this here. Hurry up, I know what that's called. Show me where he's at. That, you know, when, you, when you're nervous, you just shake. Stop shaking the show. Hurry up, it's all. I command you. Y'all ain't with me, y'all. Y'all ain't with me. Y'all know how it is in work when I'm going to get mad. Amen. I don't want to be like my own country saying, take this job and shut it. <laughs> <laughs> Are y'all with me? Until God put me in check, I get no, no, no. I'm not with yourself. I don't know now. I'm saving what the air is. Yeah, this means some more spots of darkness there. The good news of the gospel ain't shining. But shine right here. Don't make your white cut up and have to repent. Y'all won't get with me. Y'all know some of y'all got them same ears. I'm seeing them right now. I'm seeing them all the time. Don't trip. Amen. You won't believe last week, but you look at your children and your wife. Better be a man. The Bible is singing out. Big dog. Y'all don't want to fire me so much. 
They thought they were going to hire me right back. I'll be back next week. Oh, 
-huh. in the middle of nowhere. Uh -huh. yeah. It's all on church. You could have said that to me. You said that he didn't know. But when the grandma told you, she said, baby, you're going to be way out there. Uh -huh. She said, well, don't fall in love. My grandma was like, you ain't going to lie to me. We're going to be like this, she was told me. I said, well, she said, yeah, they're going to feed you good, too. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know. <laughs> Come on now. And, and when I drove up, I said, we're not going to get there. We're going to turn on Calvary Road. And I'm like, Your star. 
are attached to it. Move. I tell some folk, I tell people here in church, they say, Pastor, what do you like about it? You know that word, man. Work out. That's what you think about love, man. No. No. Love. See, you, y'all won't be a cosign on this. <laughs> and, and you can go to hell just, just because I just say okay on stuff. I'm not saying okay to you. I'm saying just okay because you tell me what you're going to do anyway, no matter what I say. Y'all don't like that either, but I'm telling you the truth. My okay is you ought to get because you ain't talking about that you know the word. You ain't got to tell me the word talk. Cause that right? You don't want to hear the word. And you want my okay on this. That's why that's supposed to go to church and what what pastor okay with everybody. If you ain't ready to get the spirit that go. That's right. Amen. Amen. If you got a little to rest the testimony like mine and, and you ain't acting like it, come here, you, come here. Right here. Get the old cat. It's coming out. Y'all don't like that either. See, the problem is, y'all, see, y'all, why y'all want to get sick on me now? I don't care who you can be in my family, outside my family. If you don't line up with God, you got to go. If it's something that we don't line up, you got to go. If I don't talk better than me, I don't talk better than you. We all going to get straight. Y'all don't want for real. Are y'all with me? You doing good. Real good. Come here if you want to. You ain't ready to be comfortable. The people going to be like a stove. We're going to be high upon them.
make her the king they left and go to start. Look at this lady, as soon as they left, their dog plays, they saw the light again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna say, when they left the dog plays, they could see the light again. Oh, Lord, have mercy. As soon as you leave that joy. Somebody, see, my eyes are open now, y'all. Y'all know my eyes are open. My spiritual eyes are open. As soon as you leave him, your eyes will be open. And the light that you've been praying for will shine. You have been comfortable being in a place where you are able to get close to someone in authority. But it was a dog play. I would rather be in a small play with light than a dog play with a person in authority who's evil. When they saw it, they look here. They rejoiced with exceeding great joy. When they saw the light, they got turned up. All right, y'all don't know what they turned up. I thought y'all were going to catch that. When they saw the light, they got turned up. I'm going to say again so y'all get that. When they left from that dark place and actually were being guided by the light, they got turned up. See, this is when you turn up when God brings you revelation and starts ordering your steps according to his word. His word is a lamp to my feet and a lamp to my bed. Then you get turned up. We get turned up for stuff that has nothing to do with our salvation, with our deliverance, with our healing. Jesus. So I'm just saying, I said it to test that out too. See, look here, when you really love somebody and you say the person's name that they love, they just start smiling. I'm going to say it one more time and see if y'all don't smile. Now, don't fake smile. If you ain't like that, get it over. Amen. If I heard the name of somebody, I'm going to say, who you say it? So you're going to say it again. Jesus. Yeah, Jesus. Say that Jesus. Mama say Jesus. 
Okay, y'all know who that is. She gets posted and she gets done. Diligently. Train up a child in the way you should go when he's old and will not depart from it. Do y'all still teach them about Jesus? How is it that they know about a little baby and Drake and all of them and sing every song, but they don't know nothing about Jesus? You don't know John 3 16. Romans 3 23. Y'all won't talk to me. I ain't even know all that stuff and I know about Jesus. Kill us. The blood cleanses us. 
myrrh, this fragrant gum that they would also use when they were spicing people down after death. So these gifts were related to him being king, lamb of God, the one who takes away the sins of the world, but the one who would die to pay the price for our sins. And yet, they worship and they gave. Now look at what happens when you worship properly. You give, and you give God what's doing to his name. God then starts releasing revelation of folks you need to cut loose and not go back to. He warned them in the dream. The Bible says in the book of Job 33 that God speaks once, twice in the dream of night, and man perceived it not. Uh -huh. Could it be that you ain't hearing? Because you ain't worshiping? Why should God talk to you if you don't want to talk to him? If you don't acknowledge his Godhead and his Lordship, why should he talk to you if you don't want to acknowledge him? So we have people who want answers from God, but they don't want to worship the God that they want to answer from. These brothers got born of God in a dream that they should not return to Herod, but they departed into their own country another way. Anytime somebody gets home to talk to you secretly about public information, I'm going to say it again because y'all don't catch it. Whenever somebody wants to talk to you secretly about public information, be wary of that. It's a scheme. They really want to get something from you. Are y'all hearing me? If it's public knowledge, we ain't got no line rule over there. Take it right here. Hey, I need to talk to you. You talk to me right here. Hey, Amen. Let everything work be confirmed by two or three years. Now, I got two folk right here. You talk. But I don't know how I would. <laughs> okay. Y'all want to see. It's going to meet somebody in here this week. You know what I'm going to tell you right here? This public knowledge, we ain't got to go behind no closed door. Yeah. You just mad when she about to be replaced. <laughs> I'm going to say it again. You know, most times when folks being replaced, they've already been replaced. Right. I'm, I'm saying, especially with Lauren, if she's going to replace you, you've already been replaced. You way more than me. Am I right about this? You are six months to a year later. You've been replaced. She's just trying to break it to your soul. Because she knows that you're fragile, you have all, but you ain't have it. So I'm still going to steal some of y'all, y'all going to hug y'all shaking with you.
they are not secure because they are entrusting their security with folks who change. I'm so secure, oh man, if you leave, he will get a better word. I bet they can see what happened. I don't even want to be bald, I just want to be PT. Y'all ain't good, y'all ain't like that either. You slow me down. What do you want to do? What's wrong with you? Y'all ain't like that. See, I'm telling a story, I'm putting my hook in there, but I'm really you trying to tell you what's going to happen. Y'all just can't catch me. Y'all don't like me with really y'all true. Y'all don't know what y'all are. Hey, it won't be our church thing good. Hey, what am I doing? This ain't my house. Just look, son. I must be careful right there. I will exhort them to all. Encourage them to hang with them all. These, now look at this. How far are you willing to go? What are you willing to sacrifice to see the manifestation of Jesus? How far would you travel? What would you give up? Would you give up your safety just to see after him? Would you leave your homeland to see after him? How many of you are just too comfortable that you stop seeking him? You just have a, a little worship every now and then, but now it's not worship all throughout the day. You remember you used to talk to God all day long? And you in the book and wherever you went, you could feel his presence. When you drive, he was in call with you. Amen. When something wrong, you need work because you just you just feel in your spirit. He was going to work it out. Amen. Yeah, yeah. Why is it that you don't feel that anymore? Jesus. You stop seeking him. Yeah. Um, there's a brother in here today. And I'm telling you, God is going to use your life and testimony so powerful. And you are going to be able to help some young brothers. Who've been balling out, which you're going to be able to help them powerful. Because one thing you don't want to do is play with God. And when you come in, you're going to really come in. And you're going to serve Him powerfully. And you're going to pull a lot of young men off the street. Because what you're going to speak to them is going to be so true because you lived through it and God has brought you through it. Amen. Amen. Good, sir. And when God does it, don't get into a religious system. Just keep walking with God. Amen. Keep walking with God. Don't get into church tradition. Walk with God. Amen. Let Him speak to your heart. But do not forsake fellowship with other saints. But keep your heart pure for seeking God and watch how he uplifts you. As a matter of fact, God is so good that folks who are looking you for a job, God got one for you. I'm serious right now. I'm serious right now. Because when you, are, you want to line your heart up with God, God says, guess what? Since you were lining up with me, I'm not, here I am for you. No good thing will he withhold for them that love him. If y'all want to stand
and like these wise men, if you come to seek him, today is your day to say, Lord Jesus, I believe that you're the Son of God who lived on the earth and lived a sinless life. And you went to the cross, not because of nothing evil that you did, but so that you can offer yourself up as a living sacrifice to pay the price for the sins of the whole world. And three days later, after you preached to the spirits that are in the prison, you rose again on the third day with all power in your hand. You ascended far above all principalities and powers on the throne of power. And you're coming back again. If you believe that in your heart, you want to confess that with your mouth, I ask that you come forward. If you hear the Spirit of the Lord is leading you to this local fellowship of believers, and you would like to join with us as a covenant body of believers in Christ Jesus, I ask that you come. Amen.